What's up guys, welcome back to FNG Academy. Buck here, former Green Bray, here to help you guys get selected. Today we got a special episode. I'm super excited about it. It's one of the things you guys have been asking about the most. Not only are we covering something that you guys have asked about probably more than anything, we have an awesome special guest joining us today, my boy Vincent Rocco Vargas. If you don't know Vincent, I'm sure you guys know him. If you know me, you definitely know him. He was an actor on the show Mayans, badass. Uh, he was a ranger, uh, one of Matt Best's homies, and he's just an all-around good dude and right now he's running veteran do me a favor show some love show some support jump over to the veteran website buy a shirt and when you get that thing do me a favor take a picture and tag us on instagram me and rocco vargas on instagram so we could share it to our stories and show him that the fng community is about helping vets and supporting our community and today's episode is about rangers versus special forces freaking showdown battle royale all right, guys, so the point of doing this episode is because, like, how are you going to pick what you want to do if you don't know what the main mission is? A lot of people say, like, do I have to be a ranger before becoming SF and all this craziness? Listen, there are two different missions. There are two different special operations communities, and they have a completely different mission. Sometimes those missions bleed over and they do similar things, but you need to pick whether you want to be a ranger or if you want to be a Green Beret based on what mission you think you'd be happier doing. So I got Rocco to help us out because I never got to operate as a ranger. Unfortunately, I got hurt in selection. Um, it was something I always wanted to do. So got an expert on here to tell you about their mission. So let's let Rocco take over and have him tell you guys what it's like to be a ranger. Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Vincent Rocco Vargas, and my boy Buck asked me to talk about the mission for the Army Rangers, for the 75th Ranger Regiment Rangers, okay? Not to be confused with a Ranger tab, okay? So um, a day-to-day -day operations for, or missions for the regiment uh, would be combat operations in any location, and most of the time, our objectives are gonna be kill or capture missions of high-value targets. Uh, so those are targets that have been identified as threats to the USA and whatnot. And we generate the information or the intel to identify where they're located and we assault on the objective. So it's a raid or, if you will, a an assault on objectives to gather more intel, to have more follow-on missions to complete our objectives as Army Rangers, whatever is dictated by the higher ups echelons to determine what they need done. That's what we do. So they send us into different locations in areas of conflict and we do our fucking job. All right. Thanks again, Rocco, dude. That was awesome. I really appreciate you being on here. I think veteran is going to explode and the things that you're doing for the community are amazing. All right, guys. So based on what Rocco said, you understand a little bit more about what the Rangers are doing. It's direct action, gathering intelligence so you could conduct follow-on operations. So what Rocco's getting at is that it's very important for Rangers to get in there and not just go, you know, run through a house and shoot it up and, and run back out because then they can't develop the follow-on missions. It's really important that you pay attention to who you're going after, your high-value targets, what caches they have on there. Is it weapons? Is it intelligence? Things like that. So there's a lot more intellect that goes into uh, being in special operations than people might think. If the direct action uh, lifestyle is more your thing, then Ranger seems like an amazing option, and I would have been stoked to do it. A lot of people would be stoked to do it. Now, as far as Green Berets, our main mission set is to train, advise, and assist. We're a force multiplier. So our job is to go in and take a host nation force, let's say, from my experience, Afghan Special Forces. We don't want to be there fighting the war for Afghanistan forever, right? They need to know how to fight their own war. So Green Berets will go over there and we'll take a company of special forces and we'll train them. We'll teach them how to uh, shoot, move, and communicate, and then we'll take them to war. So what that'll look like is instead of being a team of Rangers or a team of SF guys, it's going to be one SF guy per like, you know, 15 uh, Afghan special operations guys. So we will be going with them to, you know, help them with uh, shoot, move, and communicate, 
to bring in the air support and things like that. But you're really breaking off from your boys a lot of time and you're jumping in with those guys. So it's really important that you like to teach, you like to bond with those guys, you like to uh, get involved in their culture and things like that. You know, so two completely different uh, approaches to uh, unconventional warfare and they're super important. So you need to decide which one more attracts you and that's the one you should shoot for. All right, so that being said, there are some downsides to, um, you know, working with your host nation partner sometimes. It would be really awesome to work with your boys only. You know, it would be sweet for a, a team of Green Berets to go in and do an assault objective or assault on an objective uh, and do operations unilaterally, which means just us. That would be amazing. I wouldn't have to watch my back. I wouldn't have to, you know, watch these commandos um, pull a security position and not load their, their weapon systems. I've had that happen, man. It's, it pissed me off. Uh, I ended up yelling at the guy on an objective, letting the enemy know that we were coming, and then we got lit up uh, once we started to um, enter the door. So yes, we are doing direct action, but a lot of the times we're not acting unilaterally. We're with our partner forces, and that adds a lot of, you know, sometimes that's really questionable environment. So it really depends on what you guys want to do. I love being a Green Beret. I think I would have loved being a Ranger too. So it's all awesome stuff, but at least you guys can get an idea of what both mission sets are doing so you can make an informed decision about what you want to do. So once again, just want to thank Rocco for jumping on. I want to thank all you guys. Subscribers are going nuts. Click on one of the videos to figure out the mindset of special operations guys and what we do, how we think, so you could apply that kind of mentality to whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter if it's martial arts, business, um, KDH, my partner on the podcast, he's a businessman. All these things apply regardless of what you're doing. So good luck, guys. Glad to see you, and we'll see you on the next video.